In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely disable the Hello Themes header and footer section. So I've been a bit under a rock, to be honest, but uh, I think it's since September 23, uh, the free header and footer section was, or the functionality was introduced to the Hello Theme. Personally, I don't know why. Uh, Hello Theme is meant to be a really blank canvas for Elementor Pro users so that you can really just minimize everything from from the canvas up um, and anybody who has Elementor Pro is not going to want to use the very limited and very rubbish uh, and very wanting uh, header and footer functionality that you'll find in the hello theme. Personally I don't know why it's there but the fact that it's actually frustrating me and annoying me whilst I'm trying to design sites is well, frustrating and annoying. So let's uh, look at how to actually disable it completely. Now, um, you can skip forwards in a timestamp to go to the actual quick solution, but for those of you who are a bit unaware, check if this is the issue you're having. You have a site-wide header, that's really funky and you're happy with that, but there might be a page such as the home page where you'd like to have a big hero section and, uh, and no header on this occasion. The normal thing that you'd want to do is pop along to the Elementor header uh, of your choice, the, your site-wide header, and add a condition. You'd want to uh, exclude it from the front page. So if I do that and click Save and Close, at the moment it's business as usual, which is hunky-dory. Let's refresh the page. We should have no header and a beautiful hero section, but unfortunately we've now got the Hello theme spitting up our site logo and a silly menu that's you know uh, set to menu one if you've actually done that. So this is not very cool. Uh, what we could do is go along to the actual page and set the page layout to Elementor Canvas, but then you would lose the footer, and especially on the home page, the footer should be the last call to action. You don't want to lose that, um, so uh, that that isn't really a good solution. You might then think, okay, so we're going to pop along to the uh, Elementor settings. So Elementor settings and features, and then we can scroll down and it's now in stable features and it's active by default. And uh, where are we? Uh, Hello theme and header footer. So if we make that inactive, this should, this should remove it, we would think. For me, at least, on several sites, it has not done that. So um, obviously, I was just playing on this tutorial site, prepping a header tutorial, and this is just in the way. Uh, so I've refreshed it. Uh, this is meant to be inactive, and it's not. Uh, what a pain. But here is the fix. Uh, if we pop along to the dashboard and uh, go along not to Elementor settings, but pop along to the actual Hello theme settings. You may not have noticed this, it's hiding in the bottom. Uh, you might have first popped along to the Customize, uh, which is where you would generally customize options across the theme. But I'm, I'll be honest, I'm frustrated. Elementor seem to have decided to put theme settings, not in customize, but down here. To me, it doesn't make sense. Um, it wasn't intuitive for me to find this. Uh, and then it's not even pretty. I want it to be pretty, to be honest. Uh, here you will actually find the much wanted disable page title across the entire site. So you don't have to keep clicking it on here, uh, which is absolutely wonderful. But you will also find uh, disable cross site header and footer. Uh, this is the solution that we're looking for, not that really we should need it. So save settings and then pop along to the home page and refresh. And it's gone, finally. Okay, I'm Chris Good. If that's helped you, I'm really glad. And uh, please check out my other videos, like, subscribe, and all of the rest. Bye bye.